May the church come to order, and let us please stand for our praise and worship. And our scripture this morning will be coming from the book of Hebrews, chapter 3, starting at verse number 12. Again, that's Hebrews, chapter 3, verse 12. starting at verse number 12, and the scripture reads, Take heed, brethren, lest there be any of you an evil heart, be in you any of you an evil heart of unbelief, in departing from the living God. But exhort one another daily, with, while it is uh, called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. For we are made partakers of Christ if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast until the end. Amen? Amen. Amen. We have read Hebrews chapter 3, verses 12 through 14. May the Holy Spirit give you revelation of his word. May he bring it to your remembrance in the days to come, and may he help you apply it to your life. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let us bow. Heavenly Father, God, we come before you, and we are just uh, grateful for another opportunity to be in this place here, Heavenly Father. God, we thank you for this geographical location that you have set aside for this body of believers to gather together, dear Heavenly Father. God, we count it a privilege that we were able to make it here, dear Heavenly Father, that you watched over us throughout the night, God, and you guided us up and down the highways, God, and protected us from danger seen and unseen, and got us to this place for such a time as this, dear Heavenly Father. God, we don't take it for granted, dear Heavenly Father. We are appreciative, God, for the ability to come and gather together as sons and daughters of the Most High God and to worship and praise and magnify your name, dear Heavenly Thank Father. You. God, in the world, we call this Father's Day, God, and on this day, God, we do want to acknowledge you as our Heavenly Father, dear yes, Heavenly sir, Father. Yes, sir, God, yes, we are grateful that when when our fathers weren't doing the right yes, thing, God, yes, you were yes, counted yes, faithful, dear Heavenly yes, Father. Yes, we could, we could constantly count on you and look to you, dear Heavenly Father, even when our earthly fathers weren't doing what they should have done or when they made mistakes or whatever the case may be, dear Heavenly Father. God, we're grateful that you are a father that has never failed, dear Heavenly Father, and we are grateful for that. God, I, I thank you, dear Heavenly Father, for earthly fathers that are, are men after your own heart as well, dear Heavenly Father, where we can see your character reflected in this earthly Heavenly Father in our earthly fathers that have given their lives over to you, dear Heavenly Father. God, I'm yes, grateful Lord. Yes, that, that I have been awarded the opportunity to be a, 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 a earthly father, dear Heavenly yes, Father, that has his, yes, has his life yes. uh, uh, found in you, dear Heavenly Father. God, I think about the father uh, that I could be if it had not been for you, yes, dear Lord. Heavenly Father. And I'm just Thank grateful you, Lord. for you saving my soul, dear Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. I'm thankful Thank that you, Lord. you are a Heavenly Thank Father you. that Thank saw you. that we needed a Savior, dear Heavenly Father, and you sent your son Jesus Christ. What kind of father would sacrifice their son on our behalf? It's a loving father that yes, would do it, and we are yes, grateful Lord, you, for it. You are a father that gave your all for us, and we are so, so appreciative, dear Heavenly Father. If it wasn't for you being a father that loved us yes, and gave Lord. your all, dear Heavenly Father, we would be eternally separated from you, God. We would be lost in this world, dear Heavenly Father. We would be a hopeless people, but God, I'm grateful for the sacrifice you made, God. We're grateful for sacrificial Fathers, dear Heavenly Father, on this day, and we are just grateful, dear Heavenly Father. God, you are, 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 are the true and living God, and it is a, a privilege to worship you and to serve you, dear Heavenly Father. It is. We count it all joy, dear Heavenly yes, Father. Sir. So, God, as we get ready to continue to, to go through this worship yeah, service, Father, we yeah, just want you to be pleased with us, dear Heavenly Father. As your children, we want to be want you to be pleased with yes, every Lord, single thing that we Lord, do in this place. God, every Father. song sang, every prayer and uh, 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 prayed, and every scripture read, dear Heavenly Father, every hand clap, every testimony. Father, we want you to be pleased as yes, we honor sir, you yes, sir, on yes, this sir, Father's yes, Day, dear yes, Heavenly yes, Father. Sir. Holy Spirit, we ask that you rest and dwell in this place. Move as you see fit. Touch each and every one, God. Don't leave anybody out in this place, Father. God, each and every one of us need a word from you on today. Each and every one of us need a touch and an encounter with you today, God. And that is why we have come, dear Heavenly Father. God, we've come to give you a sacrificial uh, uh, praise, dear Heavenly Father, an offering uh, uh, of, of the fruit of our lips, dear Heavenly Father, a yes, surrendered Lord, life to you, dear Heavenly Father. That's what we've come to you're bring you, God. Father. But God, so we know that bring those things to you, God, you have already prepared something for us as well, dear Heavenly Father. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, God, we just pray that you would receive 
our offering, dear Heavenly Father, as we lift up our voices to you, dear Heavenly Father, as we clap our hands in praise unto you, God, as we worship you from our hearts, dear Heavenly Father, in sincerity, God. God, I come against every distraction right now in the mighty name, of, the Jesus, mighty name of Jesus, God. Whether it be mental, God, whether it be physical, uh, something going on in our bodies, dear Heavenly Father, I cast it out right now in the name of Jesus, God. God, you said in your word, these signs will follow those who believe. They will be able to lay hands on the sick and they yes, be healed, dear Heavenly Father. Yes, we will be able to cast out devils in your name, God. Now rebuke every unclean spirit, dear Heavenly Everyone Father, right now, in the, name the mighty Jesus. name of Jesus. God, I don't have to holler. I don't have to scream. You have given me authority over the enemy right now, God. Yes, so I yes, take Lord. that authority. Yes, I walk in that authority yes, that yes, you have given me through your yes, son, Jesus yes, Christ. Yes, and I yes, cast yes, out every demonic spirit yes, right yes, now in the mighty name of Jesus. Right in the name of Jesus. Every spirit that will be a distraction. Yes, every spirit that will try to hold us back from worshiping you and there. celebrating our Father on this day. Yes. We stand against it right now in the name of Jesus, God. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Now, God, I pray that each and every individual in this place, God, will shake that thing off of them and focus on you in this place, dear Heavenly Father. Because, God, it's one thing for me to cast it out, God, but they got to want it to leave, too. Yes, Lord. Holy Spirit, only you are welcome in this place. Only you, Lord. Your house. Only you. This is your place. This time has been set aside for you and you alone, God. And we will focus Thank on you, dear Heavenly Father. Thank we will glorify you. and we will magnify your name, God, in this place yes, on Lord. this Father's yes, Day. Mm -hmm. Because you are the greatest Father of all time that is yes. that is not limited by time by or time. space, Let's God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. you make us new on this day. Make us new on this day, dear Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. God, I pray that each and every individual that walks through those doors will leave different than when they came. God, I pray that each and every individual that is watching us through social media, God, I pray that when they, when we hit end on this video, God, that their lives will be changed forever. Thank you, Lord Jesus. They will stand up from their bed. They'll stand up from their couch. They'll stand up from their kitchen table. They'll stand up out of their car, and they will walk in the newness of life With you, Lord. and be a different person than they were when yes. they sat down. Yes, yes, God, you are still in the life-changing business. Yes. You are still in the soul-saving business. You are still in the redeeming and the healing and the because delivering you're faithful, Lord. business. Because, because, you're faithful, God. because you are the same God yesterday, today, yes. and forevermore. And for that, God, I give you all glory, honor, and praise. So again, I say, Holy Spirit, have your way. God, we've come to celebrate you and lift up your name, dear Heavenly Father. We've come to glorify the true and living God. And our only prayer is that, Father, you be pleased. God, give us the praise that you want us to give back to you, God. Drop that shout in us to heaven, Father. Do it, do it, Drop that Lord. hand clap in us. Drop that dance. Drop that song. Whatever it is, Glorify God. Glorify thyself, Lord. Thank yes. you, Lord. Glorify yourself to us, God. We are fully surrendered and submitted to you in this place, Holy Spirit. Have your way. And we'll be mindful to give you the praise, honor, and glory in advance for the mighty and miraculous things that we will see in this place on this Father's Day. Yes. God, we love you. And it's in your son Jesus' name that we do pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Water you turned into wine. Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. Water 
Ah! 
The worship leader is going to come and lead us to our first inspirational song, and immediately following that, we're going to have a time of testimonies, and I think we may have one or two announcements. Will you give the worship leader some love? Encourage him.
giving me the mind and the heart to reach out to my father and actually tell him. How Amen. 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 I know it did something for him. It did something for us. Amen. 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 That in itself right there, sis. That in itself right there. God is a reconciler. I just want to give God a, a testimony thank you, my kids, for somebody else. But um, so, uh, so Wednesday, uh, Bishop let everybody know that um, my uncle had been had been released from prison. And I just want to praise God and thank mm. God for that, for again, how he's working, even in the midst of this uh, CV-19 season to where it's working out for the good of those who love him mm. and are called according to his purpose. But uh, in in the, I guess, the, the heart of, of Father's Day, I thank God for that because he got two daughters that mm. that would have had another Father's Day without him. But, I mean, yeah. I'm pretty sure they didn't see yeah. this coming, that they were yeah. able to spend Father's yeah. Day yeah. with their father. That their yeah. children yeah. will be able to spend Father's yeah. Day with their grandfather. Uh, I'm not that, yeah, something that they have never seen. So I just thank God that, I mean, him as a father, too, is able to be out and spend Father's Day with his, with his children, with his yes. family. Yes, yes, um, yes. I just, as a, I, as a father myself, I couldn't imagine not spending Father's Day with my kids or just being away from my kids for an extended period of time. So um, I'm sure he's, he's felt that. Uh, while he was inside, but I just thank God that he doesn't have to feel that any longer. I just thank God for that. Amen. 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 Don't miss it. You don't miss it. Yeah. I just want to thank God for uh, blessing me to have two fathers. One is going on to glory and one is still here. Mm -hmm. So uh, my biological father is, is, is going on and I just thank God for that because I, I feel sorrow for not having my, father, my biological father because you know, I usually call him, but I still have an earthly father to still be able to to spend time with. Amen. That's right. Amen. Lord, thank you. I got a testimony. I mean, just uh, it's not any one particular thing that that God is doing. Like God is is really doing a lot right now. I mean, He's moving a lot right now. Uh, I, I mean, I even thank God even for like for the messages that we received, even up to. Like the one last Sunday, you know, about, you know, he's taking the time to prepare for things and, and now the time is ready. You know, I just I just want to thank God for him just knowing everything in advance. You know, he That's if you right. listen to him, he'll tell you, he'll warn you, yeah. he'll prepare you in advance. So when something yes, comes, will. you're not caught by surprise, you're not just left in in and just left in the storm or just left out. I mean, he is a wonderful father. And just to kind of even touch what you said, just to be out on Father's Day, you know what I'm saying? Like, ugh. I just thank God for so much. Just not for one any particular thing, but just because He is a great, great Father. Yes, He is. He is. He is. He is. I want to give God some glory, if I may, please. First of all, give an honor to our Father, yeah. our Heavenly Father. I, I do want to give God glory. I, I, um, I thought about you know the timeliness of God. God is a on time God. Amen. We sang the song, but He really is an on time God. Yes, He is. Yes. See, see, see. I know you know some of us maybe even pining because you know we're not a father, <laughs> or we're missing fathers, or fathers are missing. But let me tell you something. If we still here. And we're in our right mind. God then gave us an opportunity because he gave his people the ministry of reconciliation. Amen. Amen. Yes. This I know for a fact. It's a ministry of reconciliation. And if he took it on your heart, you better do it. Set the pride aside because God never wants his people to live in no type of regret. I, I know this for a fact. And his tenderness. I was thinking when Bishop said, he said, you know, he let, they, God is good. He, Got that boy out for fathers. That's who he's a good, good father, ain't it? That's who he is. Mm -hmm. But even in that, I thought about it. I said, you know what? Here it is. Somebody like John said they thought they was going to just be another Father's Day. Wait for him to call. But they got a chance not just to call him. That was a blessing this morning. He's big to reach out and call him and text him. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Rather than have to stand in line, wait for, mm -hmm. to try to get a phone call out. Right. Some folks take things like that from granted. And so I want to say today, we have the ministry of reconciliation. God can't force nobody to do anything. But what we do as his children can impact one person and cause a ripple effect. Okay. So I encourage you today, take this opportunity. Ain't God good? Yeah. I'm telling you, it, he's, it, it, everything is timely. Mm -hmm. Everything is timely. You may not recognize.
recognize it, but it's timely. And I want to give God praise today that I'm not sore. Amen. I want to give him praise today, and I want to praise him for his mercy. On, on, on Friday, Lord, had me to take off Friday, and not because it was Juneteenth or nothing like that. Never took it off before, but it was, I said, I'm going to hang out with Jair on his birthday. Well, Lord, I, th I felt the Lord told me I need to get up and go walk the track because I hadn't done it in a while. Well, you know, I put it off and said, no, I'm going to go hang with these guys. That's going to be enough exercise. Mm-hmm. How many of y'all know God got a way of showing you things that you need to be obedient to right. him? Mm -hmm. Lo and behold, I went out there and I got wore out running around with them in the sun. But then I had to take a little trek, a run up a hill, chasing down an umbrella. <laughs> that the umbrella just kept going and going and going, farther and farther, but I'm going to get this umbrella. God had to show me. He said, yeah, see, if you had a guy up this morning and walk, you would have been stretched out a little bit. You probably could have caught it. But even in that, I got my exercise, and I was really concerned because it was quite a bit that I ran. No soreness in my knees, no soreness in my feet, no swelling, no nothing. And I want to give God praise for it because, see, even in my disobedience, He's still merciful toward right. me, and I give him glory yeah. for that. Amen. 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 I show you want to give God some honor. Good, good and glory and praise on Father's Day. Yes. 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 He's, he's, a, he's a promise keeping father. <laughs> Ten years ago, the, the Holy Spirit spoke to me when my brother got incarcerated and told me to tell him that he wasn't going to spend 15 years. Even though he was sentenced to 15 years, he wasn't going to spend 15 years in prison. And so we spoke that to him and told him what the Lord had said. And so my testimony is God is not a liar. Right. Right. Prayer answering God, if God said it, there shall be a performance of all the things that God has said Amen. to right. us. He said he wasn't going to spend 15 years in there, and he didn't spend 15 right. years in there. Amen. They shaved off three and a half years, and then COVID-19 comes along, and they shaved off another year and a half. Mm. Right. Got him out of there. God is using COVID nineteen just like he. Mm. All right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. For his glory. For his glory. Yes, sir. So, so, that, uh, so yeah, God is using COVID nineteen. Just a testimony. Uh, when I was talking to one of the brothers that that was locked up, he was saying that somebody was in there. They had a life sentence, and they did so many years. Uh, I didn't know the number. They did so many years, but then they got COVID-19, so they sent them home to quarantine. Them. And then when they came back from the quarantine, they released them. They released them for the rest of the for the rest of the Amen. Yes. Yeah. 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 They sent him home to die, but God said, "Yeah, he gonna live." Thank yeah. you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I want to give a testimony also. I, I want to give all the glory to God. I just want to say thank God for the prayer. Uh, my mom, she's 96, she'll be 97 this Sunday Amen. coming up. Hallelujah. Last week she fell. They put her in the hospital. I asked for prayer. We prayed. Amen. Monday she was released from the hospital. Praise God. Oh, yeah. I talked to her yesterday and she was back in her normal fighting and sitting to up to day and everybody. She can't see us. We're not understanding. Yeah. But that's just telling us that she's, she's not in any pain and she's yeah. doing well. So I'm Thank thanking God. Continue to honor God. Listen to God. Be obedient to God. So we can be successful in God. All right? Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay, I got to go up. Yes. I was a little distracted there. I must say, I really am. Can one of y'all please help my daughter and mother out, please? Can y'all please, one of y'all please help her out? Um, I got a strain on me up here. I mean, pull it. I can hardly stand up. Thank you so very, very much. Thank you so very, very much. Solomon, like, man, please. <laughs> Thank y'all so very much for your testimony. Um, I know everybody's not led to give a testimony, and we all got one. Amen. And so we want to be obedient to God. But I've come to bring you just a few announcements. It is Father's Day. And let me say this right now. Happy Father's Day to all of you that's in the room. Uh, all of you that's in the room. Happy Father's Day, Ethan David. And 
they continued it. Minister John Bishop, Happy Father's Day to y'all today. Want to let y'all know that we love y'all so very, very much. We love all the fathers and the children of Red Sea and the sister with purpose of Red Sea have not forgotten y'all as our fathers. Now, uh, we done prepared a little something for you all, so don't run off too fast, okay? All right. It, it may even be something to eat for you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Amen. I mean, not later on, you may be able to eat a little something today. Amen. Yeah. So we want to give y'all, make sure y'all know this. And so the sisters told me to make sure I, I make the announcement Amen. right. Amen. That's the only announcement I have. I have nothing else. I, I just want to let y'all know that. So it's that time, though, y'all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Time because it's our opportunity to give back to God what He has lavishly, abundantly blessed this body with. I know we blessed like mm -hmm. that. Listen, I listen, I brag and boast about us. I do. I said, let me tell you something. <laughs> Somebody sit there and count us out by saying, oh, they, they, they can't even have a building because they ain't got enough members. Listen, we can pray, pay any note, but God promised us free and clean. Mm. Amen. 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 You know why it's free and clear for us? Because we've been faithful over a few things. Amen. 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 That's right. Did I say there was some confidence? Mm -hmm. Amen. I thought I, I meant it. All right. And so, y'all, let me tell you something. God honors those that honor him. And y'all have been honorable, Red Sea. Y'all have been. So, as the ushers have prepared themselves, I know y'all prepared y'all self two, three weeks ago for worship through giving today. So they're prepared. Our hearts and hands are prepared. Let them come forward, please. Amen. God, God is powerful and he is. he's holy and his love and his faithfulness endures forever. Yes, come on. Forever, forever. His faithfulness endures. God is powerful and he's holy as we bless this offering, Lord. We thank you for every willing heart and every willing hand, Lord. We're thanking you, God, in advance for the increase, God, to overflow. We're thanking you right now, God, for the privilege and the honor to come and co-labor with you, Lord, in this earth so that your will be done in this earth as it is in heaven, Lord. And so, Father, we're thanking you for the seed that you give to the soil. We're thanking you for the harvest to bring forth more seed. But more so, Father, we're thanking you for Jesus who made it all possible. And it's in his precious name we do pray. Amen and amen. 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 His faithfulness endures. Yes, our good, good Father has been found faithful over so much, over so much, over so much. So uh, Bishop got something he want to say to y'all. He telling me not to move, but okay. So all of you who are watching by Facebook Live or any other media outlet, uh, we want to say Happy Father's Day to each and every one Amen. of you. Amen. Want to let you know that we're, we're praying a special prayer, Father. We thank you so very, very much for every father that's coherent right now. Every father that's in our midst right now in the name of Jesus. We lift them up to you right now and we pray a special blessing over every father right now. We pray right now for reconciliation in yes, every father's Jesus. life with every child. Yes, right Lord, now, in the name, in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. That sons and daughters are coming home and making amends with fathers. Fathers are going and making amends with sons and daughters. Yes, Jesus. We pray it over you right now that this is going to be one of the best days that you've had in a long time. But it's going to be a beginning of days yeah. yes. to come yeah. for you yeah. and for your yeah. family and your children. We give God glory and we give God praise for that. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 I do want to say something. I don't want nobody to feel left out of nothing. But in my spirit, there's a young man that I know. His name is Richard Scrimshaw. If you watch him, sir, and you should be because the Lord is telling me to say this to you. Have a special Father's Day today. Amen. Brother Richard Scrimshaw. God bless you. We love you. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen.
I do have one more thing else to do. Let's lift up Reverend Stevens the Father. We thank you so very, very much for this vessel of clay, this, this vessel of honor that you have placed in our midst today. We give you glory and give you praise for her. Thank you for the word that you've put in her belly that's going to be sown and planted in the hearts of many today. We pray that the, the soil will be pliable today, that nobody will resist this word, that will fall on good ground and bring forth some, some hundredfold, some six and some thirtyfold fruit in every life. Thank you for the anointing that rests upon our life. Strengthen us right now like Thank only you. you can. In Jesus' name, Amen. Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Bishop. I solicit your prayers today, especially. The choir. I'm, yes, the choir. Yeah. The choir, the choir is coming. The choir is coming. Amen. With the next inspirational song. And immediately following that, we're all going to stand as we sing our hymn of affirmation. I will trust in the Lord. As we pray our hearts to receive God inspired word. Given today. Come on, uh, uncourage the worship leader. Hallelujah. God, I love you. God. Thank you. 
uh, there are more women than men. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that may not be the case today watching, but I know just in the room it's more women than men. So I be I would just not want to leave you all out and, and challenge the fathers, but I want to talk about our father. Can I do that? Amen. Can we talk about our father, our good, good father? Yes. That's who he is. That's who he and, is. and he loves me. That's what the songwriter said. And he loves me. Hmm. And I know this because he demonstrated his love for me. If he had not demonstrated his love for me, I could not be saved and recognize him or acknowledge him as father. He would still be God, and he still would be in a faraway place. Mm. He wouldn't be my father, that, uh, and like a friend that's sticking close to a brother that resides with me and taught, promised to never leave me nor forsake me. See, I, he had to become my father for me to recognize that attribute of him. Mm. Because some feel, still feel that you know that God is their father just because he created right. humanity. Right. Mm. But the Bible is clear. Somewhere around about Romans, I believe, the eighth chapter where it talks about the spirit uh -huh. of the Father. Uh -huh. And you have to have the spirit of the Father. And by the way, he ain't just giving it to any old body. Mm. So I want to talk today about, going back to our scripture, who are the fatherless? Who are the fatherless? Mm -hmm. Now, we can go there and say, you know, well, those are the ones that don't have a father. Well, everybody got a father. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. I mean, everybody. everybody. Even Jesus everybody. had a father. Everybody. All right. Everybody, everybody got a father. That's right. Because that's the way it is. If you're a human being, you got a father. Got a father. <laughs> now, you may, we may put people in the category calling them fatherless because fathers are missing mm -hmm. uh, presently or their presence is not there. How about that? Right. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's who we say who are the fatherless. That's how we describe them. And that can be for many, many reasons. It could be because of death. Right. Yeah. It could be because of, of uh, divorce. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It could be because what, what, what some of us call deadbeat dads. Mm -hmm. It can even be the fact that some fathers don't even know they have That's children. Right. Yeah. That's right. For whatever reason. Yeah. I, I know this to be true because, and I'm not talking about it, but I'm going to talk, but I know yeah, already. Yeah, yeah. It, it's just like my husband said. He said, listen, I'm almost sure. It's probably some children out there that, that I don't know about because right. it's some people that I've been out there with right. and they didn't divulge the information right. to me. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's not the child's fault because they right. still have a father. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. And so when we talk about fatherless, God understands all that because he knows what? Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So even though you may not know your father, mm -hmm. he knows your father. All right. And because he's a God that knows everything, he will, if that's your desire, and you want to put your father first, your real father, your heavenly father, mm -hmm. he'll bring that earthly father to you. Somebody got to be alive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But he will. That's right. I've known him to do it, and he does it very well. I look out here in the audience today, uh, right here where we are, and I, and I must say that John David and my son John and... Zipporah, y'all are blessed today. You you really are because you have today something that most of us in this room desire to be with their father on Father's Day. I told y'all to pray for me. You you have a blessing today. Two of them don't even recognize it because they're out like lights. <laughs> but I want to say to John. You, you have a blessing today that the Father, your Heavenly Father, has blessed you with. You are able to look upon and talk to your earthly father. Something that I know I desire. And I'm sure I'm not the only one in the room mm -hmm. that desires that. But God mm -hmm. says, I'll be a father. Mm -hmm. To the fatherless. Right. Not that I didn't have a father, That's right. but right now he's not here. Right. But see, God is ever present, always present. That's right. All I have to do is reach out to him, and you know he helps me. These last three weeks have been trying, and I'll be as transparent with you as I can today. As we led up and coming up to this, I said, Well, Lord, you did shift my focus. Mm -hmm. 
from Miss right. Daddy to now Miss Mama. Mama. Mm -hmm. And I said, Lord, I said, you know what? He has a way of doing things. And I still like the way he do it. Yeah. May not understand it. Mm -hmm. May not agree with it. But you know what I do? I still like the way he do it. Because you know what I found out? It's still working out yeah. for my good. Amen. It's for my good. And I'm going to see that. But I said, Lord, you shift my focus. And I was saying to, I went to Bishop yesterday. I said, hey, Bishop, I said, um, can me and John, you know, can John preach? <laughs> John Bishop, my bishop said, no, no. That ain't what God said. Now, y'all know him, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And so I looked at him and I said, I didn't say nothing, did I? No. I just turned around and said, see, God knows everything. You don't know everything. God knows what's going on with me. Mm -hmm. so I and Lord said, I sure do. I sure do. And I'm going to remind you once again, baby, in your weakness, mm -hmm. my strength is made perfect. All right. See, just about when I think that I can't do it, or it's one, listen, because I'm talking to somebody right now. Somebody even this day said, Lord, listen, I, I just want this day to be over with because I can't handle this day. God says, in your weakness, his strength is made perfect. Mm -hmm. All you got to do is first be willing to just let God use you. Right. And let him come on in. You know, anybody ever been upset you just don't want nobody to comfort you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm just asking. Yeah. And, and sometimes, I, I'm just making by myself. No. Sometimes I feel like that. I'm upset I just don't want nobody to comfort me. I just want to be. <laughs> and God had to show me, said, baby, if I let you go there, you may stay there. Mm -hmm. Even if I let you go there, you may be there just a little bit too long to where it affects you when you do come out. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm learning now to let the Father comfort me. Yeah. Not that I don't mourn, don't get me wrong, not that I don't feel something, but I've learned to let the Father comfort me because he is a father mm -hmm. to the fatherless. Right. Amen. See, sometimes mom is all right, but sometimes you need daddy. I'm just going to say it. And, and, and so here's a point right here. It is a sad thing when fathers, uh, especially in an African-American household where there's absenteeism fathers. But let me say something. I do believe that God set it up. Fathers are a necessity Amen. in the family. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. They're a necessity. So I, listen, all my, my independent sisters, I'm with you. I'm with you. But God has fathers there for a purpose. That's right. See, I look right now, and I think about it, sis. When I look at the condition, since we want to be all about racial injustice and all of this, I'm not putting that down. But I'm reminded that when all this came about, all of it, it's when we changed and shift God's plan. That's right. Right. See, God had original design. That's why he said, honor thy father and thy mother. Yeah. He said, honor thy father and thy mother. Yeah. See, his intent was for it to be a father and a mother there. Yeah. And we know it's not our fault. Listen, ain't nobody's fault. The bottom line is that we live in a sin-sick world. Yeah. It's just that simple. That's why we can't condone sin. That's why we can't go and be desensitized when things, you know, everybody, 90% of them doing it like this, we still have to do it who? God's way because he knows best. See, I'm finding out, I found out, and God gave me the revelation that, see, when all that changed, when, when Father was no longer being uh, the head of the household and, and taking care of things, and, 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 and the women started going out and bringing home the bacon and frying up in the pan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> see, see, Father's with the feeling some kind of way. So, you know what? She don't need me. So, I'm just going to step on out. All right? Then I'm, I see, now, now I got some little boys that don't know how, because see, I don't care how good your mother you are, you can't be a father to your child. Come on, yes. bro. Come on, bro. You can only be a mother. Mm -hmm. Can't be a father. And no, I'm saying it again, not your father. And there's some of us that came up with fathers, and you know what? We mighty good. We doing good. We did good with our children. Yes, we did. But I say this to you, don't get to the point and say, well, no, nah, I don't need no father. 
I just can't say something to, to I'm not I'm not talking to the single women here, I'm talking to single women worldwide. Because I ain't talking to no Christian women, I'm talking to some other single women. How come your 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 baby don't need no daddy, but you need a man? Mm. Come on, Reverend. All right. Oop. That's good. Come on, Reverend. That's good. I, I'm just curious about that. I don't my baby don't need no daddy. He got a daddy, but he ain't there. But you need a man. No, let's put it in the right perspective. You need a husband, mm -hmm. and they need a father. All right. See, husbands make good fathers. Come on. Mm -hmm. My bae don't make good. No. My bae, bae don't make a good one. I'm just saying to y'all. Let me go back to right here. He said fatherless. You got some of the widowers that lost their husbands for whatever reason, and so the children are there. The children are not orphans, they just don't have a father there. And they do still have a parent who's doing the best that they can. And I give a shout out right now, it's not Mother's Day, but I give a shout out right now to those mothers that even when fathers ain't there, you still pushed on. And you being the best parent, and you were the best parent that you ever could be. And then you come to find out you got with Jesus, it got so much easier. All right. I, I just want to hear just one amen. That's amen. All. That's all. I, I, miss, I say just one amen because, you know, yeah, some of y'all ain't didn't, didn't have to go that route, you know. But since you got some grown children, you still, you still, do, how many of y'all know you still raising your grown children? Yes. Amen. Amen. Y'all don't believe that, do you? Yes, you are. They, they, they act like they're out there on their own, but that's why they keep coming back. Don't take your hand If it ain't nothing, you can come get them, them grandchildren. Listen. Nah. Listen. You talk about illegitimate. And so another thing we got to understand, and, and this is what God, why God comes in, and, and I've shared this maybe once or twice, folks. When corporal relationships end, do you know that the father and child or the parent and child relationship doesn't end? Right. Well, okay, let me make that a little plain, because they say corporal, you know, somebody would think I'm talking about military. When the physical relationship between a man and a woman ends, whether it's husband and wife, boyfriend and girlfriend, nothing like that. The relationship between the parent and the child does not end. Right. That's why I'm talking about fatherless right here. And we'll say that. And I just want to give a point. This is a single mother one-on-one -on -one, because I was there. I was a single mother, teenage single mother. Well, teenage mother, usually not married. Yeah, I wasn't married, so I was a teenage single mother, okay? One thing I did, mad as I was with him, God rest his soul, I let his child know who he was, mm -hmm. and I did not try to stop any type of relationship with the child for one reason. Wasn't her fault. Wasn't her fault. Didn't bad mouth him. Ba bad, ba bad mouth him. <laughs> Didn't bad mouth him either. Just, well, I was upset with him. I didn't want to talk about it no way. You understand what I'm saying to you? I was upset, so I didn't want to talk about it. But when it came to time, when he wanted to be in his child's life, that was all right with me. That really was. It really was. And it should be all right with you, single mothers, one-on-one. -on -one. Now, I understand, no, you don't expose your children to something that can hurt them. I don't care if it is blood. You hear what I'm saying to you? You don't expose your children to anything that's detrimental. I don't care if it is blood. That's your responsibility as a good parent. Because remember that, you still got a father for your child. Well, who is he? God Almighty said he's a what? I'm in your Bible right now. Father to the fatherless. Let me tell you what else he said that he do. So it's a two-part reference here. Two parts in this particular reference that I want to talk about. First, the father is one. He's a father. God is a father to those who don't. What I mean by this, he's a father to those who don't have fathers present in their lives, okay? And he'll be that father only if you desire him to be, okay? The next thing is that God wants to say to us is that he desires to do this. He truly desires to do this. And some of us, see, we can't get a close enough relationship with the father to recognize that he really wants to be a father to you, but you keep wanting to keep him like God far away. Right. And he really wants to come, he, he said in the scripture, I am a father. 
See, there's a difference between just having God Almighty, but when you got a Father in God, mm. that's intimacy. That's right. I ran to my dad and told my dad or my mama. I know y'all don't do stuff like that. Nobody ever did that. Yeah, I went. And then I went and told mama and daddy. You understand what I'm saying to you? Not to put them against each other, but because I figure like this. This is a relationship. Me and you got this relationship outside of mama. Me and you got this relationship outside of daddy. So I ought to be able to come to you about daddy. I ought to be able to come to you about mama. And this is what the Lord is saying to you today. He wants to have a relationship with you as a father that you can come to him. Even before you go to your spouse. That's right. Because he wants you to be one with him. The second part of this reference that God wants us to know, and I've talked about this. See, that relationship that he's talking about is an honorable relationship. You know it's an honor to have God as your father. Everybody can't say that. And you know what? I don't mean no harm. You know, uh, I don't want everybody calling my daddy daddy. Mm -hmm. I had to nip some of that in the bud, too. You know, my daughter come there with her little friends up in the house. Somebody called him Bishop Dad. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, he's your daddy. Not play. Not no other kind of way. Right. Let me tell you why. See, you have to recognize the enemy as a gland. What we'll start off as play, somebody get the wrong thing. Next thing you know, bishop name everywhere. You know, he got some children over here, over here, over here. Mm-hmm. 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 Had to that blood. Because I didn't want nobody to play because even when I found out later on in life, you know, I felt some kind of way, sis, you know, that daddy had some old children. I'm like, what? Wait. Wait. That's my daddy. And I thank God even in that, before I even knew him, he showed me how to, you know, not have no grudges toward people. Mm -hmm. Secure enough of myself to where, okay, it's enough, it's enough of daddy for everybody, I guess. <laughs> it's enough of daddy for everybody. And I and I sincerely, I sincerely feel like that. The second part I want to say to you, I talked about it earlier. God wants to come in, and it's in the scripture, he wants to reconcile us. Back to where he wanted what his original design was. He wanted uh, want to reconcile families back together. He wants to be, first of all, reconciled to him. To recognize him as father. And then he wants us to be reconciled as families. I will teach this until I leave here. The church, I'm talking about not the building, we're talking about the church. The church, is the, the foundation is Jesus, the relationship. But do you know what the nucleus of the church is? The nucleus of the church is a family. But that starts with a marriage. Mm -hmm. I got to say it to you for one reason. You know, I know it starts with a marriage. I said, why, Sister Stevenson? Why, Sister Stevenson? Why, Sister Stevenson? Very simply, he refers to the church as the bride, That's and right. Jesus says he's the bridegroom. All right. And he, this is what he's built on. Jesus is the cornerstone. And so he reckons, he, 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 he uh, uh, what's the word, uh, it's representative of, 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 of how the church uh, as, a, as a body is supposed to be. It starts with marriage, and then it becomes children, becomes families. Right. Families make the church. Right. See, God, the, God already knew that the gates of hell could not prevail against the church. So, you know, the devil knows that. So, you know what he does, the first thing he tried to do? What? He messed up the family. Yeah. But then he got smart when he go to the root. He starts and try to tear up marriages. Yeah. Can I say that like that? Yeah. That's why, see, that's why marriage ain't honorable no more. Right. But the Bible says that the marriage bed is honorable. Right. But it ain't honorable with nobody. Everybody sleep with everybody. Yeah. yeah. Like kind, unlike kind. Yeah. We sleep with the animals. Yeah. yeah. See, the, what was meant for marriage has now been spread to where anybody can do it. Right. Uh-huh. Because it's been defiled. The enemy is smart. He has perverted marriage. Y'all know he has. Yes, yes. To where a family, listen. God says that a man would leave his what? 
Mother and father and do what? Cleave to his wife. Cleave to his wife. That's right. Now, let's go and put it like this. He said a man right. will leave his mother and father. That's specific. That's right. He will cleave to his what? Wife. wife. That's specific. That's, right. That's what marriage is. It ain't no other kind of way it can be a marriage. I don't care what man says. God ordains marriage. Yeah. That's the institution, no more than, no different than the, than, than the Lord's Supper of Baptism. Right. God ordained that. And so when that started falling apart, look at the church. Y'all yeah. mm -hmm. think I'm playing, don't you? Y'all think I'm playing? No, man. You can go to any church right now, and it's more single folks than married folk. Y'all better hear me. Mm. Y'all better hear me. But listen, that don't mean all hope is gone. Y'all hear me? Yeah. Do you hear me? Do you? Not you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe I'll look at both. <laughs> Hope is not gone. Because God always, always, I don't care what the enemy comes in to, to do for, for evil, God can always turn it to right. good. Can I be willing to let him do it, though, his way? See, I can, the, the problem with this whole thing about being one with the fall, and that's what I'm talking about. I gotta do things this way. And we, we got a problem, you know, we don't got to be so strong in ourselves that we think God need our help. Hmm. We really believe that God needs our help. And he does not. He does not need our help. Let me tell you what God can do. God can take whatever I think that was my idea, make me think, that is my idea. Then turn around and I forget the whole idea. Mm -hmm. Hide work and everything. Right. Yeah, I know ain't nobody been there yet. Mm -hmm. You ain't you ain't been there and thought you had something. So, mm -hmm. Oh, this sounds like a good idea. And this way it's gonna work. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't give God no glory, never mm -hmm. And the next thing you know, you can't remember what he was talking about. All right. You go to try to write it down, you can't even get it. I know I ain't the only one with that. Mm -hmm. And you'd be like, oh, that was a million dollar idea. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you tried to get the glory for it. Mm -hmm. So he wants to reconcile us one to another. He wants the family intact. But first of all, I got to let him be my father. I got to be one with him mm -hmm. in order for him to get things intact. Mm -hmm. Again, we can try to work it out, but he can't. Turn to Malachi. I know y'all looking for some scripture. So, Stephen, you got to give us a scripture. Malachi 4 6. So that's the way we do it here. And so I'm going to stick with the plan until God say different. Malachi 4, 6. That's the last book in the Old Testament before the New Testament. <laughs> Malachi 4, 6. Because this is what he'll do. Did I say he was a reconciler? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he has given you the ministry of reconciliation. I just don't utilize it. Mm -hmm. I heard my sister this morning. And I could see the pain in her face, and I could sense it in her heart. It took something for her to do that, but she did. Now, sometimes we don't expect the, you know, we got a, a expectation of what you expect out of it. But just hold on and be still. As long as you obey God, watch what God do. What did he say? And it's written, by the way, to honor your father and your what? Mother. Your mother. You just do that part. He'll protect you. He'll take care of you. Yeah. Malachi 4, 6. We there? Amen. And he will turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the hearts of the children to their fathers. Mm. He said, unless I come and strike the earth with a curse. Boom, boom, boom. This is what God is talking about, reconciliation. See, if we can be reconciled to a father and be one with our heavenly father, all this other stuff would kind of like disperse. It will. It wow. would. I, I, I just can't believe it's that simple. It just takes one of us. I mean, I promise you, it just takes one of us to say it. To say it and to do it. Turn with me right quick. And uh, let's go to uh, Luke eleven thirteen, Because in order, can I say something? We talked about it in Psalms, eight, uh, at Psalms uh, 68 and verse 6. It talks about those rebellious ones. Mm -hmm. He said he brings those ones that are bound 
into prosperity, okay? But there's some rebellious ones. See, God is not bringing nobody screaming and kicking nowhere. He's not forcing any. He's a God of, of what? Let you choose. He's a loving father, so he lets you choose. Now, you know what? He even helps you choose. Y'all know what's in Deuteronomy? Come on. Mm. All right. Choose, choose, yeah, listen, choose blessings or curses. Mm -hmm. Right. Life, Life or death. Yeah. Just that simple. But he, but he kind of like tells you, you know, why don't you come on choose life? Mm -hmm. That you may what? Live. Choose blessings. But see, some of us want the blessing with the curse. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. He said, come out from among them. Don't touch the curse thing. Mm. But you want to keep touching the cursed thing and still be blessed. Mm. When I told you it's cursed. Mm. How you get a blessing out of a curse? All right. That's the same way you can't, you know, blessing and cursing can't come from the same. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all there, Luke 11, mm -hmm. that what I said, 13. Yes. Listen what this said. Because we're talking about one with the Father, right? Mm -hmm. Right. If you, then being evil, it's just Jesus talking, he's talking about you and me, okay, us. Mm -hmm. If you being evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? All right. Some of us don't want the Holy Spirit. I don't need nobody always there watching me and telling me, uh-uh, uh-uh, no, no, stop. Now, if that's the way you see Holy Spirit, then yeah, you probably don't want Him. But if you see Him as that, wait a minute, that, there's a hole. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey, there's a clip. Oh, thank you. Bless you. Let me turn the lights on. Oh, that's a bigger hole. Thank you. Now, when you start seeing the Holy Spirit like that, then you'll see him as the gift that God then gave to those. That's a better gift than your father, your earthly father, could ever give you. One that's going to be with you forever. One that's going to be a comforter. That's going to be an instructor. You can't beat that with a red big stick. <laughs> you cannot. Let's look at Galatians 5, 6 through 7 right quick. Because he's talking about the Holy Spirit that he gives us so that we can be what? One with him. Go right quick with me. Galatians 5 through 6. God eats potato chips. Can I give it to you like that? Comes right after 2 Corinthians. I need some Bible jewels up in here. Right. Amen. Y'all there? Yes. Take your time. I'm, I'm, I'm five, Galatians chapter 5, verses 6 through 7 is where we read. Are you there? Yes. Yeah. Make sure I'm in the right place. I'm sorry, Galatians 5, 5 mm -hmm. through 6. I said 6 through 7, didn't I? Yeah. Forgive me. But we through the Spirit eagerly wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision avails anything but faith working through love. Mm -hmm. Then turn right quick to this reconciler, verse Romans 8, 14 through 17. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to move along so we can go and enjoy our fathers. How about that? Amen. Was it an amen you found? Or an amen, let's go and see our, spend some time with our fathers. Uh, amen. amen. <laughs> Are we there? Amen. That's Romans chapter 8. And I alluded to this earlier, verses 14 through 17. For as many, here it is, mm -hmm. right here. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are sons of God. For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children, children of God. 
And if children, guess what? Then we are heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If indeed we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. See, when, 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 when the spirit of the Father is who we're talking about right now, this is what we're talking about, the spirit of the Father. He is one that, that, that comes to let us know that we are one with the Father. And the way we have his spirit and the way we call is because we have the faith in him. But how many of you know faith without works is dead? So the, your faith is exemplified when you obey him. When you do what God commands, when you do the will of God, this is how you're knowing that you have the spirit of God, which makes you one with the father. Because I have to have the spirit of the Father. You do understand that, right? Mm -hmm. You have to have the spirit of the Father. And it, and it should be like that because how do we know who you belong to? I know who you look like. I look like my daddy. Mm. I, I, look, I look like right. my daddy. Amen. You that. ought to look like your daddy. Right. You ought to look like your father. Did you know that Jesus told them folks, them Pharisees, when they went to screaming and hollering about that, we are of our father Abraham. Right. Right. And Jesus come right there and said, well, if you really was of Abraham, you would love me. Because Abraham loved me. Oh, yeah. He said, but you're not of Abraham. You of your father, the devil. And he was a liar from the beginning. Yeah. So there you go. Put a pinpoint there. You lying all over the birds. Yeah. Like wall wall car. Mm. You may be of your father, the what? Yeah. And lying can be real subtle. Mm. Oh, it can be real subtle. No, I ain't upset. <laughs> your face all balled up and 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 huh. and, 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 and puff it out. You know, I'm not upset. Be honest. Yeah, I'm upset, but I ain't gonna say not. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. But you know, it's real subtle. Because your, your, your father, not your father. I'm just talking about the father of that one. Uh, where did I just tell y'all to go? I didn't tell y'all to go nowhere, did you? I was looking for something. That was the problem was, and uh, I may not read this. Go with me, please. We still talking about woman's father. Go to John 14. Mm -hmm. And we're going to start at verse 20. That's John, the Gospel of John, chapter 14, starting at verse 20. As I want to teach this a little bit to you this morning, I want to share something with you. Did you understand that, you know, Jesus already told us that, you know, if you are a follower of him, if you're a follower of, of Jesus, that, you know, you don't have to give no thought to even what you say. Hmm. Because Amen. he said that at the time that's needed, the, the spirit, the father will give you what to say. I'm in Matthew, y'all say of John 14, but I'm in Matthew 10, 20, you can write this down. He said, when they deliver you up, don't you worry about how and what you're going to say. For we give it to you in that very hour what you should speak. For it's not you who will speak, but the spirit of your father who speaks in you. See, when I yield to God, or when I'm one with my father, I say exactly what my father say. Sometimes you won't say nothing because God, listen, God said, listen, don't even, that, that, that foolishness don't deserve an answer. Amen. But your flesh right. rise up right. like, wait a minute, I, no, no, right. I'm going to say something. Uh, uh, well, I was telling the taller yesterday, I was taller. I think I'd have had a week to calm down, you know. I said, but I'm going to still say something. <laughs> and she says, well, you know, you don't want to go, you don't want to be one of them people put your religion down. And I looked at her and said, mm -hmm. <laughs> But she showed his right. Mm -hmm. And you sure are right. Yeah. You're correct. Sweet that was down. the spirit. Mm -hmm. The father's spirit speaking through her. Y'all there in John 14, 20. Mm -hmm. Amen. Give me just a hot second and, I, and I'm going to join you there, okay? John 14. Y'all done read through it already. Can I read it with you, please? Okay. So we're talking about one with the father, right? Yes. So look at this right here. First of all, can I share something with you? You know that you can't be one with the Father unless he allow it? Yeah. All right. Somebody don't know this. Mm. You just right. can't. <laughs> right. Here you mm. go. You just can't come to the Father like you want to. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's, a, there's a misnomer going out around there that you can come to God any kind of way.
way you mm -hmm. want to. Don't. I'm so sorry. There is a posture. Mm -hmm. There's a position. All right. And there's a condition mm -hmm. that has to be met before you can even come to the Father. Mm -hmm. No, it's not nothing that you really got to prepare and do. It's that what you let him do through you. And what it is is the first position is humility. There's got to be some humility and some submission. Oh, you can't get to the Father. I'm sorry. The second thing, you can't get to God without Jesus. Mm -hmm. I don't care how many Hail Marys you throw up or throw out or whatever the case may be. I don't care how many times you pray during the day or through the night. Mm -hmm. I don't care how many tears you shed until... You are willing to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And by the way, the Holy Ghost draws you. Mm -hmm. You can't come when you get ready. Right. Holy Ghost drawing you like, hold up, wait a minute. Mm -mm. I got to finish this twerk. Uh, mm. And then I'd be right on. Mm -hmm. Nope, that's not the right. way it works. Hey, man, hey, hey, they doing it. They rhyme right there. They doing it. Hey. Made a little rap song uh, right there. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 1420. <laughs> Are we there? Yeah. Jesus is still talking if you've got one of them red letter Bibles, okay? Mm -hmm. At that day, you will know that I, Jesus talking, am in the Father, and what? You and me, and I in you. Well, it sounds like to me that if Jesus, what, is in the Father, and I'm in Jesus, and Jesus is in me, then where am I? In the Father. In the Father. I'm right. one with the what? The Father. Let me tell you what else Jesus said. Can we go to verse 21? Mm -hmm. He who has my commandment keeps them, it is he who loves me. That's how you in me and I in you. When you what? Do what I say. <coughs> when you... Okay. And he who loves me will be what? Loved by my Father. Right. And I will love him and manifest myself to him. Go to verse 23 right quick. It just a, may have turned the page like me. Jesus answered and said unto them folks that went to answer them questions, more crazy questions. If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. Some of us don't want God to move in. Mm. We don't. How many of y'all think y'all good hostesses? Let me see you. Okay. Oh, he don't want that. That's true. So y'all just y'all just know y'all being hosts or something. <laughs> Anybody endeavoring to be a good host? Yeah, yeah. Maybe that was a question. Okay, yeah. wait a minute. I still got something. No, I don't want nobody at my house. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm praying for a father. Yeah. Because you want us to have the spirit of hospitality. Right. Yeah. <laughs> But if you listen, and if you if listen, and God wants listen, this is how you become a good host. First of all, it ain't about your house, cause I used to be like that. You know, my house raggedy, right? Mm -hmm. My house stank. I said I used to be. I didn't say it like that now. I didn't want people to come to my house, cause I was what? Embarrassed. Embarrassed, yeah. shame, mm -hmm. or just the fact that really not about that. Just scared somebody's going to say something, I'm about to jump them. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was concerned about how folks seen me. Mm -hmm. And any of us that say you don't care about how folks see you, there's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with you. Uh, but you're concerned about how people see you. That's the way I was. And God had to change me from that because that was subtle pride. Mm -hmm. It was. It was subtle pride. I wanted to have things... Not that I was trying to make people comfortable, but I wanted people to see certain things to see me a certain way. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to somebody right now. Mm -hmm. So so this is the thing. You know, you want you don't want to invite somebody to your house. I understand if you got roaches, you don't want to invite them there. Right, 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 because that's a health hazard. Mm -hmm. That's a hygiene issue, right? But go on in and clean up and spray and everything. And if the chair's ragged, tape them up with the duct tape and let folks come on in. Amen. What? Y'all look at me like I'm, I'm strong. It's like I said something strange. No. You may let them come in and they may buy you some chairs. Oh. Mm. Now they see that right. duct tape. Mm. Mm. Yes. Come on. Right. That's right. Mm. We're so concerned about how people, when we put on airs for people. Mm. See, sometimes we, we need to let folks mm. know things. You know, I'm doing the best I can. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and, right. And, and it may not be the best of the best, but you know what? I know my mama used to say stuff like this. It may not be that. It may be ragged, but it's clean. Right. Mm. That's right. Mm. 
When are you gonna get that point? Yeah, yeah, you need to go and learn how to sew though, you know, mm -hmm. sew some stuff up. You ain't just gonna be walking around with holes in it when you can sew it up. Mm -hmm. But what she's saying, it may be worn, it may be old, but it's what? Clean. Mm -hmm. And so in that, we come out this spirit of hospitality right now so we can be one with the Father. Because the Father welcomes all. Mm, 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 mm. God welcomes all. He wants all to come. And I do think that sometimes us as a church, we get so be one with the Father that we can't see those that are not one with the Father to where they can come on in. We put up a little, Amen. we put up a little, what you call it? A little petition there so that, wait a minute. And God wants to be hospitable. Do you know that, you know, he said, by loving kindness have I drawn thee. Mm -hmm. And this is the loving kindness that we got to have. That even those that folks call, quote, unquote, y'all heard about fatherless, unlovable. Mm -hmm. No such thing as unlovable. Mm -hmm. Then God said he so mm -hmm. loved the world that he gave his what? Oh, his yeah. best. Yeah. He gave his best. He gave his only and his best. Some of us in here got two popsicles and you want to keep both of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Because mm -hmm. the condition warrants it, don't it? Mm -hmm. Girl, you know by the time I get out here, it's 96 degrees in Texas. By the time I get out there, it's one popsicle going to be gone. So I got to say, I ain't going to get cool enough. Mm. <laughs> right. And so. there's somebody over there that's already <laughs> at heat stroke level. And you ain't got the heat exhaustion yet. You tell the truth. I know I'm right about it, bro. I'm gonna say amen to my own self. Amen. Self. We read that. Uh, yes. Go with me to First Corinthians eight six as I can uh, about to about to as Bishop say land this plane. I don't have no pilot license, so it may be a rough land. Uh -oh. How about that? No. Y'all all right with that, right? Well, sure. Yeah. First Corinthians 8, 6, you there? Yeah. It's right after Romans. Amen. I want to go to 5. I'm going to, I'm going to follow Bishop Lee right here because there's a comma. Look at verse 5. But even if there are so-called gods, whether in heaven or on earth, as there are many gods and many lords, yet for us there is one God, uh -huh. the who? Father, of whom are all things, and we for him, and the one Lord Jesus Christ, through whom all whom are all things, and through whom we live. Do y'all get that? Mm -hmm. Do y'all get that? Mm -hmm. One God, one Father. How many, have y'all noticed that you know a whole lot of folks talking about they want God, and I want to be with God? Y'all, y'all hear that? Mm -hmm. but they never say Jesus. Ah, yeah. Amen. Can I show y'all something? I know y'all, uh, listen, to, okay, y'all write this next scripture down. Second, y'all go, now, write this scripture down, then you go to 2 Corinthians 6, 18. Write down John 6, 45, 44, I'm sorry, and verse 6, 5, I'm going to read that for you. And then you go to 2 Corinthians 6, 18. Can we do that? I just want to say something to you. Y'all probably already know this, but I'm just giving you some references, right? And somebody else don't know it. You know, everybody ain't Bible scholars like uh, Red Sea Baptist Church. Four. Six. So, so go to uh, 2 Corinthians 6.18, and I'm reading John 6.44, okay? Okay. No one can come to me. Talking is read, I promise you. It's a quote. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him. And I will raise him up at the last day. That's resurrection power right there. All right. That's what Jesus is talking about. Write down verse 65, because I'm going to read that to you too. Okay, because you need to know this. <clears throat> and he said, he being Jesus said, Therefore I have said to you that no one can come to me unless it has been granted to him by my Father. All mm -hmm. right. So while you hear people talk to these religions about, you know, well, uh, we, we serve the same God. Let me go and I, I'm going to. Uh, I'm not going to stick a pen there. I'm going to stick a whole dagger, a whole sword, a machete. Mm. Is what I'm going to do. If there's no Jesus, you ain't serving the same God I'm serving. All right. Amen. And, and listen, I'm talking to believers because y'all don't want to be called Christians no more. You know, Christian folks have such a bad name now, you know, because, mm. you know, they say, you know, even right now they come out, you know, them folks that you know, yeah, 
they, they, they Christian. Okay, I'm a Jesus follower. I'm one of the way. I, I, I'm a Christian because his name is there. Christ is in my name. So, okay, I'm a Christian. Okay, that was just what you're planning to say. But this is the thing. If I'm a follower of the Lord Jesus Christ, I cannot say that somebody that don't believe in Jesus as Lord and Savior, how can we be serving the same God? Right. right. That's right. When God already said, you can't come to him unless you come through. Jesus. Amen. No Jesus. No God. No Yahweh. You know, because that's what folks want to call him now. You know, he ain't God, he's Yahweh, he Yah. Okay? That's fine. No Jesus, no Yeshua. <laughs> right. No Yahweh. I say it like this, no Jesus, no peace. Mm -hmm. And if you know Jesus, you are no peace. All right. <laughs> Second Corinthians 6, 18. Let y'all go because y'all y'all just uh y'all just too excited. Y'all can't contain y'all said I'm gonna let you go. Or you tear up something up again. Up again. Second Corinthians 6, 18. Y'all done beat me there, so I'm gonna uh, try to meet you there, okay? Amen. I'm reading. Look what look look this this is by the way. This is Old Testament scripture mm, in, in the, the New Testament. Testament. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to read to you, okay? I will be a father to you, this God talking, and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. Remember I told you that God desires to have a relationship with you. Mm -hmm. He desires to be your father, mm -hmm. but you can't have him as a father unless you go through the son, mm -hmm. and you can't go through the son unless... The Holy Spirit draw you. Right. Oh. You have to have the Spirit of the Father. You understand that? Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna read this last scripture because y'all uh, got y'all landing gear down, or, right. or waving me to put mine down. <laughs> Ephesians four. Remember, God eats potato chips. Ephesians four, four through six. This is one of my uh, favorite scriptures. <laughs> Y'all know I said a lot. I said I can say it out of order, and I'm gonna get better with that. So pray for me, him. I say it out of order all the time. I know I do. <laughs> it's, uh -huh. <laughs> Not amen, but uh huh. <laughs> Are we there? Yeah, amen. What are we talking about today, y'all? One with the what? The father. father. One with the father. And I learned something while and while I was studying that after Jesus had died and was resurrected and walked around. He stopped referring to God as my father. Go read the scripture. Mm. He started referring to him as the father. Mm. Mm. Right. I said, Lord, I said, I see this. See, before you were showing that where you were the son and you were just like us and it's my father, personal relationship. After his resurrection, now he's back one with us. Oh, the father. Because he glorified himself. Oh, that's himself. good. So it's the father. Amen. I said, God, I see that. Mm -hmm. I see you there. I see you, Lord. Thank you for showing me that. We in Ephesians 4, uh, right? Verse yes. 4. Yes. Amen. There is one body and... Y'all can read with me if your Bible. Y'all mm -hmm. got y'all Bible over there? What? Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. And one spirit, just as you was called in one hope of your calling. There is one Lord, one faith, one, one baptism. baptism, and this is it right here. One God and Father of all who is above all and through all and in you all. All right. Have you come to the conclusion yet that you're one with the Father? Yes. Hallelujah. Have you figured out or have you been convicted or come, become cognizant of the fact that in order to be one with the Father, you have to be Give it to his spirit. In order to even have his spirit, you got to desire a relationship or follow the spirit to have a relationship yeah. with Jesus. Yeah, can't get it no other way. At the moment you accept Jesus, Holy Ghost comes. He comes to dwell in you. Now, of course, he wants to lead and guide you. You know that, right? Yeah. He don't just want to dwell there, you know. Holy Ghost say. Like a deadbeat dad, just want to sit around the house. He wants to lead you to work. He wants to help you work. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. 
He wants to show you what kind of work you need to do to serve the Lord with gladness. No, he's not just sitting back and saying, well, you know, whatever you do, go ahead on. He wants to be a counselor. He is the counselor. But you have to allow him to be in your life. That's how you get to be one with the Father. It's impossible for you to even know the will of the Father without the Holy Spirit himself. So, Stephen, I can pick up the Word of God. This is true. You can pick up the Word of God because the Word of God is the will of God. But you won't understand it if there is no Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So then you be what? Lean into your understanding. I started to do that series, Michael Jackson, leaning, but I thought about three kills may get out. <laughs> <laughs> He's <can live>. delivering. <laughs> you lean to your own understanding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And God don't want that. Mm -hmm. Listen, we want to be one with the Father for one reason. One, I want to rep him well in the earth. Folks need to see God. Right. Yeah. That's and let me right. say something to the saints while I got your attention. Mm -hmm. You better quit searching miracle signs and wonders. Mm. If they happen, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Right. The Bible is clear that we don't look for signs and wonders because right. we already accepted Jesus. We walk by faith, not, not by, by sight. sight. Mm -hmm. All right. Hallelujah. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we don't, we don't need no miracles. See, see and by the way, it tells you that signs are for the what? Unbelieving. Mm -hmm. So now, if you still need a sign, you know, well, we, maybe we need to get on our word and get some more prayer time in. Mm -hmm. Because we ought to be really walking by faith right about now. Mm -hmm. God shouldn't have to be continuing to try to give us stimulus checks for us to walk with him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Oh, amen. I'm just being honest with you. Because wow. folks pray it. Mm -hmm. You know Bishop said money coming to the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. and, and so I'm praying over here at these, this, 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 this congress, go ahead and give us our next stimulus check. For what? Jesus. Let me tell you something. I told you he'll make all them rich folks throw their money at you. Amen. Just like he did the right. Egyptians. Right. You you ain't you ain't got you, you plundering them without plundering them. Mm -hmm. I'm just talking right now. I want to give a can I give a little quick testimony? Mm -hmm. I kept hearing Bishop talking about, you know, Lord, through Bishop saying, you know, uh money go come into the body of Christ. Money. Right. And I'm like, okay. Right? But can I say something? Money, if, if, if you get money unexpected, ain't, money, ain't that money coming to you? Right. Amen. Right. Well, now, if you earn it or you figure you, 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 you are, uh, uh, what's the word? Work. Entitled to it. Then it's not, you don't even see God moving like that, do you? Mm. Right. Well, I went there and I said, you know, I'm sitting there, you know, going home with mom and all this. I said, we need a little money, blah, blah, blah. And money went to coming. Yeah. Money went to coming. Because I had said, I said, well, you know, I got the little credit card that, you know, it, it'll be all good and everything. I get up there and the folks say, well, you know, we're going to hold $200. I thought, what? Hmm. I'll pay you. Okay, fine. So I, I wouldn't expect that. But money started coming. Mm. Then all of a sudden, here come an award. Yeah. Mm. Monetary award from the job. Woo -hoo! Mm. Money coming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then I turn around and say, okay, got a little award right there. You no, know, I just took that little stimulus thing. You know, I told y'all I spent it, right? Mm. I'll tell y'all that. <laughs> no, I didn't tell y'all that because I've been lying if I did. I just put it to the side. I went and put it all at the bank. That's what I told you. I went and put it all just in case they changed their mind. They want it back. Uh -huh. I took it all out. <laughs> and went and put it somewhere right. where I can have access to it. And me and Bishop alone. Uh -huh. Nobody else. Uh -huh. Amen. Well, it's going to be no electronic mix up there. I just put it to that Bishop. I went there and do it all out. Uh -huh. Do it all out. That's my money. Hey. Uh -huh. so that's why I told you I hadn't spent it. But it was just like it was right. spent. Cause right. When nobody else gonna go there, when I won't go. I couldn't even spend it, nobody use my car. But I thought about that. I said, yeah, I got the little money over there. I said, thank you, Lord. I said, okay, Lord, we, we, we cooking with Crisco. You know, you, you, you prepare your people. Because mm -hmm. I don't feel like going buy mattresses and all this thing, and then it's here. That's why you gotta be listening to God. Then all of a sudden, next thing I know, here I got an increase. Mm. Amen. Amen. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah, increase. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Money is coming. Mm -hmm. Money does coming. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and money is still coming. Coming. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Because yes, if Lord. you are willing and obedient, yes, you shall eat the good of the land. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You do know the Father wants you to eat the good of the land, right? Thank you. Do you know that He has prepared this land for you? Thank you, Lord. He said, I'm going to eat the good of the land. Mm -hmm. You know that He has prepared this land for you? He said that, listen, these other folks don't know how to take care of this land. Y'all right. better hear me. He said, if my people mm -hmm. who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray yeah. and seek my faith yeah. and turn from their wicked ways, yeah. then he would forgive their sins and do what? Yeah. Heal yeah. the land for his people. Yeah. What are you going to heal the land for them for? For them to go back and wound it again? Right, right, right. This all belongs to you, but you got to be willing and obedient.
obedient. All right. Preach, That's right. So that you can go there and take this land. Amen. Amen. Listen, what's going on in the land right now? I'm just going to go ahead and put, put the blame where the blame belongs. I can blame a whole lot of folks, but you know who I'm going to blame, right? Us, Christians. I'm blaming the church. Yeah. All right. Amen. That's right. Come on, preach, man. The ecclesia, the called out, the set apart. Yes. The ones who God left here in this earth to work and make sure his will is done on earth. It's our fault. No, so Stephen, I tell you to go out there, go down there to the Dollar Tree or wherever and get you no poster board and start writing stuff on it and go, no, I'm not saying that. I've come to find out that when I get on one knee, mm -hmm. I put a thousand. Mm -hmm. But when I get on two knees, uh, I put 10,000. 10, Amen. And if I mess around and get prostrate, mm -hmm. I may have about a whole reason. Oh, yeah. All right. But this is what we're talking about. Being one with the Father. That will be done on earth as it is in heaven. When we really want his will to be done. We don't want his will to be done, you know, on the earth because it's going to affect me. And it's going to mess up my good thing, God. Listen, your good thing already passed away. You just don't know it yet. You still trying to regain it. Your good thing is Jesus. Hallelujah. He's the good master. Your good thing is the Father because he's a good, good Father. He's not a deadbeat dad. He's not a part-time. He's not an at-home dad. He's not a Mr. Mom. He ain't none of that. Mm -hmm. But he said he'll be a father to the father. Mm -hmm. Go back and read Psalm 68, 5 and 6, where he said he'll bring those that are bound out into prosperity. I believe his word. How about you? Amen. I believe his word. We stand all over the building. I thank God today that I got a good, good father that wants me to be one with him. He don't want this. He don't want me to be claiming fatherless. And so now this is what I want to say to y'all. If you've been called yourself fatherless, stop it today. Hmm. You got a heavenly father that's concerned about everything that's concerning you. To the fact that he tells you to cast your cares upon him because he cares for you. He tells you to what? Take his yoke, it's easy, and his burden is light. He tells you this right here, that he wants to have you to, he want to call you son and daughter. Yeah. See, too many of us want to still be followers. When are we going to graduate to sons and daughters of the Most High God? When are we going to graduate to that? Well, you know, I'm just all right being a child of God. Well, I want to grow up. I can still be his child, but grow up, be a son and daughter. See, he don't give responsibility to children. Children. You don't give responsibility to children. But when, when authority comes responsibility, don't you want some authority in this earth? Mm -hmm. Don't you want to start speaking some things that be not as though they were, so some things can change rather than over there, oh, I just hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope this happens. Begin to speak a thing. Amen, yeah. Declare and decree a thing. Yes. Then it what? Shall, Shall be established. Mm -hmm. All over this room, we got our heads bowed. And Father, we want to come to you right now and say thank you, Lord. Thank you so much. Thank you for reaching out to us and grabbing us and snatching us, Lord, out of the hands of the enemy. Thank you, Lord, for turning the hearts of the children to the Father. Thank you for turning the hearts of the Father to the children today, Lord. Father, today we declare and decree that in this word right here about being one with you, you're showing us the reconciliation ministry that we have. And Father, we're going to endeavor to operate in that ministry starting today. We want to make sure, Father, that we're in your will. And your will is that, you know, we be one with you. And so, Father, right now, I pray for everyone upon the sound of my voice, Lord, that we would hear you real clearly today. Father, uplift downtrodden. Uplift the downtrodden today. Be the lift of heads today who are sad. Let them know that you're still a father that reaches for them. Father, I pray right now in the name of Jesus for that one right now that's looking for a father. 
that they would decide to make Jesus their choice today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's my prayer right now. Yeah, we may be missing some earthly fathers, but oh Lord, when we get with you, your presence is more than anything else we can ever hope to desire, Lord. And so that's my prayer right now. And so that one right now may not know how to come to and ask you to be their heavenly father. I remember Billy Graham said just simple as this, Father, I come to thee. Just as I am, I come to thee, Lord. And so we come, we pray right now for that one. That they will come and yield themselves to you and say to the Father, Father, I sinned, just like the prodigal son then. I sinned against you, and I'm sorry. Please forgive me. And I accept your saving grace, your, save, your, 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 your mode of salvation. I accept your son Jesus as my personal Lord and Savior. For him to reign rule over my life. I come, Father, acknowledging right now that I need him in my life. And I renounce anything and anybody else, Lord, that's contrary to this relationship with Jesus. Father, I ask you to fill me with your precious Holy Ghost so that he may lead me into all truth. And then, Father, I promise that I will follow you for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Just that simple, nothing hard about it. And if you were able to say that, let us know about it. Please let us know about it. Do something right now in your the privacy of your home or your car or whatever. Just raise your hand up and tell Jesus, say thank you. Thank you. Everybody he called, he called publicly. Yes, he did. So go and find you a Bible teaching church, Holy Ghost filled church, so that you can be nervous and you can be uh, 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 um, trained and, and, and taught the word of God. So you can come around other saints so that you can be encouraged. And we're going to be praying for you. If you did make that decision today, drop us a little note in the comments or inbox so that we can reach out to you. But those in the sanctuary today, we're praying right now as John leads us in our song of invitation. And maybe somebody in the room that may want to give their life to Christ. But not even that, maybe you want to come and, and just, we're going to do altar prayer all together today, if that's all right, as he sings. I have decided yes, we have. to follow Jesus. That's a good person to follow. I have decided to follow Jesus.